Welcome back to another video guys. Today we're back at it with the boat. We just got back from the lake. We're cleaning it up. Um, we've got the inside done. We've got the outside done. Battery tenders on. So before we put the cover on, I want to go over a couple things um, in regards to the straps. You've seen me use noodles before. Um, when I post pictures on Instagram, if you don't follow me there, make sure you do. I'll link it up top. Rather be flying one. A lot of the pictures I post, and maybe you've seen it in the videos, you'll see green and pink noodles everywhere on the straps of the boat. Now, that does protect the boat. I'm gonna show you a couple places on the boat uh, where my noodle wasn't placed just right, so it did rub the boat. People say you can twist the straps, you can do different things, but trust me, it doesn't work. I learned the hard way, and I'll show you what happens and how to fix it if it does happen to you. Alrighty, so I strategically placed my straps so that I have the least amount as possible actually touching the boat. So you see it already right here. It's almost like it uh, it rubs the gel coat pretty bad um, and you can actually feel it. So that is one example. Now the first time that this happened and I tried twisting the straps, but still, even after twisting the straps, picture this all the way up. The boat. So this is the second one that you can see. It's not. Uh, it's not terrible. So I just didn't have the noodle down far enough. We drove a very long way, as you saw in the previous video. Alrighty, guys. So how are we going to correct this? One, make sure you're using the noodles or some type of protection against those straps if you are going to tow with your cover on. Um, and secondly, if it does happen to you, what I do to remove it, you can wet sand it, you can buff it, you can do many things. We are going to buff this entire boat at the end of this year. It's been two years, so we're gonna get it all shined up at the end of the year. But in the meantime, what I've used in the past is gonna be this uh, Meguiar's Oxidation Remover 49. It's worked really well. You do have to put some elbow grease in it. Now, if I had a buffer um, all the time, I could probably just put this on there and zap it off real quick, but I'm just gonna do it by hand. Make sure you shake this stuff really well. I'm sure you Alrighty guys, so the spot is pretty much gone. But, uh, but yeah, we got to shine it up a little bit, clean it up, but that is a nice, quick, easy way to get rid of a strap mark if you do have it. Alrighty guys, so we have the cover on now. These are the noodles I'm talking about. I use these in multiple places. I'll show you real quick where I use it on the back of the boat. It's pretty simple. It's just uh, take a noodle, cut two holes in it, it slides right over the end and then of course the cover goes over top of the noodle it's just one more added layer of protection because i want to take care of the cover um, it does have this uh, support again and of course i use noodles on my bimini i do not want scratches when you lay this bimini down to tow it um, it'll lay on top of this rail i hate having scratches so i go ahead and use a noodle Cut a little slit in it, goes over the bottom one, lays down, no issues whatsoever, no scratches. Alrighty, so that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Leave comments down below if you have a better way to get those little marks off if you do get them. Um, does anybody else have any other different covers besides the factory mooring cover for the element? Um, I haven't seen very many people with different ones. Uh, this is from Carver once again. All the information is down below. Um, we have quite a few things from Carver on this boat. Um, I do have the quick release pins, which I'll be making a video about another day. And other than that, we will see you on the next one. Hope you liked it. Have a good day.